I got a new set of headphones here to check out with you and to review. Hey, it's Sean from Sean's DIY and Reviews. On this channel, I do DIY around the house type of projects as well as electronics reviews. So if that's of interest to you, definitely consider subscribing. So I just bought this uh, new set of earbuds and I've used a number of them in the past and just want to do an unboxing, check this out and let you know if it's a good option. Um, this particular pair I bought myself and with my own money and we'll check it out and see what it's like. I will link it in the description. For the price, I just didn't think I could go wrong. So here it is, MPOW M13. This is the box. Box kind of looks pretty cool, but who really cares about the boxes? You end up throwing them away, I think, in the end anyway. Um, specifications are gonna be right here. I'm not gonna read that to you. If you're interested, you can go ahead and read them uh, yourself. And so this is the model BH476A and you'll see that model number right there. So let's go ahead and open up this box real quick. And it has a little tape over here, so gotta take that off. And it just slides right out of this. And then in here, we have your little package right there. So that's kind of cool, slim. It says the little name right on there. And uh, yeah, probably have it upside down. There we go. Um, also in the box, you have this little foam, which is obviously not useful. And it also comes with a USB cord, which I always like to see USB as opposed to, uh, USB-C as opposed to regular USB, because that's kind of the new standard. So I'm happy about that. And then it has another set of, or a couple sets of earbuds in there as well. And then you have your instructions in the package as well. So we'll take those out. I generally don't really read the instructions, um, but here, here they are, how to go ahead and pair them, which is pretty easy to do. Then it has touch controls and explains how the touch controls uh, operate. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video real quick. Take a look at this, come back and tell you all about how to use it. So the right earbud and the left earbud have different functions. So the right earbud is volume up if you just press and hold it in. Left would be uh, press and hold would lower the volume. Then if you wanna go to the next track, you double tap. Um, on the right earbud, if you wanna go to the previous track, that's the left one, that's pretty cool. Um, play and pause is uh, tap once on the left. Um, same thing, three is play, play or pause is tap once on the right, so you can do either one. Answer end to call is double tap on the right. And same thing on the other side, the right or left. To reject the call, it says just hold it for two seconds. To activate C uh, Siri or Google Assistant, you're gonna triple tap it, and you'll do that on either ear, ear side. So that's, uh, that's what the instructions say right there. And now let's go ahead and look at this box. So here it is on the back. You see the little USB-C cable input where you can charge it. And then when you open up the top, you see the earbuds right there, whoops. You see the earbuds right there. You also see right here this LED lights to tell you how charged the earbuds are. So let's go ahead and open this package up and pull one of them out, or pull both of them out actually. And comes out pretty easily. It has a little sticker there to keep it from charging while it's in shipping. So we'll pull both of these out and try them out. So you'll notice when you take these out, right on the back here, it's gonna say right and left. So right there is right. And then over here, it says left. Have the upside down. So you can see right there, that's the left earbud. So right and left, you know which ear to put them in. Right out of the box, when I took it out, I noticed that there's a little red, there was a little red dot right there telling me that I should pair it. And so I, I will go ahead and set up the pairing sequence and I'll come back on the other end with these in my ears, letting you know what the, my thoughts were on the sound. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so one crazy feature about this, for the price that this thing is, is it actually has wireless charging. So you can drop this on your wireless charging pad, um, or if you have a Samsung or other phone that does wireless sharing, this can be charged wirelessly wherever you go uh, with a wireless charger. So pretty impressive for the price. And I tested it out, you can see it works really well. Really, really, really cool. 
All right, I just took a half hour to do my initial testing on this. It was really easy to connect it, to pair it to my phone. You just open them up and then it'll start the pairing procedure. And it's if you've ever paired anything with a Bluetooth in your phone, then it's you know you'll just see the thing and press the button and off you go. Um, opening this up makes it automatically go. So if you open this up uh, and you haven't put it in your ear yet, the sound will automatically transfer there pretty quickly. I did that while watching a YouTube video. I had the video going and then opened this case up, and I could if I put it close to my ear, I could hear the music in here automatically. And then when I closed it, it shut off the YouTube video or music that I was playing, uh, having this in here. So the other thing you can do is when you have it out, you can press and hold the center for five seconds and that'll turn the power off as well. Um, it's said that you can't do that when music is going, so that might be something to consider. But it comes with three sets of earbuds, small, medium, and large. The mediums fit great in my ear. I really like the way it feels. The other thing I think is nice is that the right earbud goes in the right side when it's facing you, left in the left. I've seen other headphone sets where it seems like that's kind of backwards and weird. So I like that I turn it toward me and the right is right here on the right side and then the left is on the left side, which is pretty cool. Um, fits in my ears really nicely. Uh, nice and tight, a good secure uh, feel around there and sits in my ear, ear well. The sound quality was great. The bass response I thought was fantastic. Uh, when I put it in here uh, on both, it's difficult for me to hear sound around me. It's like I'm putting my fingers in my ears. So uh, I think it does a lot of good sound canceling from outside. And I think that's simply because, you know, if you have the rubber tip going into your ear well, I've had other ones that didn't have a rubber tip and I definitely don't re recommend those, whether they look like iPhone ones or whatever. If you notice even the, the Apple ones, they eventually came and put a rubber tip on the edge. So put the right rubber tip, put it into your ear, and uh, the sound quality is excellent on these. And for the price, I don't know how you can go wrong. So I'll put a description, uh, a link in the description below to where you can get these. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you subscribe, give this a thumbs up if you learned something, and check out some of my other content. Thanks, we'll see you in the next video.